Most people in America are quite privileged to know that technology is something that we utilize every day. The question we have to ask ourselves is what privileges do other people take against our privacy and our technology? It's literally 3.44 in the morning on a Tuesday in August and what I'm looking at is that I'm about to go check something within my own voicemail system and what I'm finding is that someone has been hacking me this morning meaning that I'm about to enter into a program that I enter into regularly and someone has basically signed me out of that program because they think they're marvelous now when a policeman does that does he have the right to do that my question to you this morning as a listening audience is do you know the arrogance of a man do you actually know the individual lifestyle and the individual life of someone so well that you think you have the right to put your people on top of them in a mobbing event that is hateful hurtful and harassing you see yesterday i was pissed on by a female who pretended like she had a right to me but what was interesting is how she played words that god asked me to write to a pastor at me and that was in a private email at no time did i provide that composition of that letter to anyone at no time did i offer that information to anyone and right in this second a police car is driving by and another station wagon that's red blood red is going through but let me ask you how many of you think that your emails and those accounts and your voice messages and those well opportunity calls and your social media controls belong to you or might they belong to a lying bitch dyke lesbian officer who's been stalking you literally for five to six years because some little motherfucking bitch called police because she was too immature to talk to you about your marriage proposal or was it possibly her husband who was not pleased with losing her in theory which is totally untrue because he went off and cheated on her created his own bank accounts and was planning his departure on her but when i say this am i talking out of turn because that woman is no longer my friend or am i talking out of turn giving you confidential information or am i talking in a way that makes sense to you that will get you to just stop your little fucking gay play and get the fuck over it if i ever knew you bitch i don't know you anymore and i'm not talking to the one i love i'm talking to the one that she's become and the friends that she's created but here's the deal i'm a homeless traveler working on my life to get myself employed by the fucking united states presidency office so if you fucking think that that woman in that white house isn't paying attention to me you got another fucking thing coming if you think that people in america don't have the right to thrive and strive for the highest positions they can get you're out of your mind but when you allow your little faggot friends to walk in and out of a staple shop pretending to be employees playing the catch me if you can game because a lazy ass manager named deb allegedly according to a shitbag little man who works for the dollar tree store is trying to play into both properties for some job that's fine but sometimes men acting behavior is over the top what he looks like to me is a man that pissed on me in indianapolis as a part of the police department and allegedly this young man has an alcoholic problem but that's not on me is it my right to share that with you in the middle of the night as i'm building a portfolio no is this video about portfolios no is this a video sharing the truth of my life that i am working at almost four in the morning privately with the quietude in general of the evening hours because god wake me up and said time to get up little man and i hear that very carefully from my god's house but people like you and people who are christian and whatever dialect of that you like think that i don't have a right to my life but we really are in a state of shock today 
that people want to keep hacking on someone who's homeless today? And is that marvelously true because you want to fuck the girl I'm in love with, or the one I came from, or the one who might have me, or is it because you're such a dumb fuck you can't do anything out without stealing from me? You see, a black man gave me a Cheshire Cat grin as he walked out of his marvelous shop that he managed where I was falling asleep with my narcolepsy at 2.30 in the afternoon, or was it possibly just that I had trained my whole life to sleep at that time? Because that's when my late spouse, a wonderful female from the Japanese continent, and I would take a nap before we would begin our evening work that paid for our family. You see, none of you have the right to my story, and none of you have the right to my life, and yet there's some bastard out there that in the middle of the night is interfering with my right to see my own voicemails from my family.